Hello, this is a Habdev. In this video, I will show you a brief example of how to use poses in order to create a more natural interaction with non-playable characters, especially when making a very small budget project, and even adding a bit of personality into them. The context of this example is the following one. We have set a camp with our teammates in order to set a bonfire to be able to cook lunch. They have asked us, the player, to bring to the camp some branches to set the fire on. Until we do so, they will keep making to us the same request. To catch here is that both of them will do so in different ways, according to the personalities we have imagined for them. She, Italia, will not move from her position and just stare at us with a frowning face while telling us to hurry up. Meanwhile, the young man, Hector, showing a bit more of a polite personality, will make a soft apology gesture every time we approach him. Also, if we the player stay inside the appropriate radius, they will follow us with their heads but with a neutral gaze. Only when we approach them closely enough, their expressions will change. All poses used until now can be found in my standing idle pose packs and sitting pose packs. You can also find for free some demo scripts about how to obtain these effects in any of my pose packs. They always come inside them by default as a token of my gratitude for your purchase. Let's speed up the video while we go to gather some branches for the bonfire. As you can see, once we have collected enough of them, we have also programmed a new animation for the player. In this case, we are using a pose from one of my carrying pose packs to overwrite the upper body parts of the player. Also, to add a bit more of immersion, while the player is like this, we cannot run but only walk. Again. You may find some demo scripts inside all my pose packs to get an idea of how to achieve little tricks like this one. Let's speed up again the video until we return to the camp. Now that we have complete our little quest, reactions form our campmates, animations and expressions will be different. Also, a little talking scene will be accessible. Again, this shows how with little effort and resources, we can make non-playable characters react at all times to the progress of us. The player, providing a more overall synergetic and organic feel to our projects. Notice how even in this short narrative scene, we can use poses to make the conversation between characters more natural. Changes of camera position and cinematic techniques overall also help, of course. Finally, after the narrative scene has ended, we can see the results of our little quest. A bonfire has been set, and the young man, Hector, has started cooking. Again his pose, and Italia's pose has changed according to the pace of the narrative. Also their lines of text and expressions, to make it more fitting even. Notice how also, us, the player, as we don't carry the branches anymore, are now in our default moving state, and so, here finishes this example of how to use poses to enter your projects. In this case, giving to all your characters a bit more of interaction between them according to the progress of the story itself. I hope this video has been of any help to the viewer. Until the next one.